I'm so glad that you um, decided to come and meet with me today for lunch. I really have been so pleased with everything that we've done for the Big Cheese, and you guys have had tremendous success with improving your business. You've had so many people coming to your restaurant, and it seems uh, just awesome that you've decided to open this new store, and we're really, really thankful for the opportunity to work with you and help you grow and expand your business. So thank you so much for meeting me for lunch. Yeah, thanks for asking me. So I, in speaking with um, some people who just recently did the first phase of the campaign, my understanding is that you have been disappointed with, not disappointed with the work, but um, unhappy with the, the cost that we ended up charging, charging you for the work. Is right. that accurate? Yes. Um, when we talked a year ago or so, uh, the estimate that you gave me was for um, $50,000 for the complete um, uh, project. And so that when we got the invoice this time, it was 24% higher than that. And so I was a little shocked to find that it was so much higher. So when we were... Um initially gave you the estimate, you know, the initial estimate is good for a certain window of time, and obviously a, year, a full year later, uh, when you decided to accept the proposal, I believe that our account executive told you that the, the cost would be higher, because a, a year later after the fact, um, rates have changed, print rates have changed, mailing costs have changed, so that it was going to be it was going to be higher, and we were given the indication from your um, representative on your end that that was fine, that you had expected to have an increase in the cost, and there was no problem with that. So that's why I, I'm a little confused as to why there's an issue, because we were led to believe that the cost wasn't going to increase, wasn't going to be an issue. Oh, and I, I'm wondering, I guess, who you talked to that gave you the approval, because my team knows that all approvals need to come through me, and I didn't know anything about an increase. Okay. Well, our account executive has been working directly with your account executive, and I believe that they've been discussing things verbally. Uh, I don't know if anything has been put in writing, which probably should have been the case. We should have probably given you a new proposal that you signed off on, although I believe that everything was expressed verbally and was agreed upon. But So is that not your understanding? No. Usually the way that I do business is I have everything done in writing um, ahead of time, so I would have had a new estimate that I would have signed off on, um, not one of my staff, but I would have signed up. That's why I'm was kind of curious who you were talking to on that one. Um, so, given the fact that we've completed the work and um, that we printed the pieces, are you ha are you happy with the brochure and, and the work that we've done? I do like the work that you did. Yes. And one of the one of the things that did change from the original scope of the work is that we were including a, a separate panel in the menu that would include all of the gluten-free options that you now offer. Initially, there were only two selections, so there wasn't really need to expand the menu and the brochure to make it bigger to include all of the different menu items. But now, since you really embrace that and have changed your menu, we have a, a full extra panel on the piece, and that obviously changes the size of it, and it's uh, it's a bigger piece, so it's going to cost more, obviously, to print and um, and produce. So I, I can see where the cost would be a little bit more for something like that. I'm not sure that I agree to the 24%. Um, so what do you feel is a reasonable cost? Because my what I've been told is that we had said from the start that the cost – Obviously, it says in our proposal that, that we only have, that this quote is only valid for a certain number of months. So it's unrealistic to expect that a, a quote that we had given over a year ago would still be valid, and we did express that it would be more. What are you comfortable in, in paying for, for the work? Because 
we've obviously incurred a cost, we've done the work, we've really done a great job, we think, with helping you in the grilled cheese app, with the new collateral, with the overview of the website. So we put in a lot of time and we put in a lot of work. What do you feel is, is reasonable for, uh, to, for the cost of the job? Knowing that, you know, costs have increased since the scope of the work has increased a little bit and the brochure expanded. Yep. So since I'm happy with the work that you did, um, since I understand that costs do go up from year to year, I'm willing to concede a little bit. Um, I, I guess what I would say is since you obviously spoke to someone or someone on your staff obviously spoke to someone on mine and I wasn't aware of it, um, I, I'll own part of that and I'll have a discussion with my staff. But um, I guess in order to make this a win-win for both of us, um, if we could meet halfway, and I'll pay it the increase of like up to 12%. Is that fair? Uh, I think it is. I, I feel like we've had a miscommunication from people on my staff and on your staff, and we made the mistake, both of us, in beginning the work without having something signed. We should have presented you with a, a new proposal that we should have you should have signed off on and seen, and vice versa. I should have seen what was signed off before we agreed to begin the work because starting to do the work without a final signed a, a proposal from both of us doesn't make any doesn't make any sense. And we really value your business, and we want to continue working with the next phase of the business because there are so many additional things and plans that we have for you to help continue to expand. So. Where I'm willing to accept the proposal of splitting the difference halfway and then going forward, I think what we should agree on is that you and I kind of sign off on the final proposals so that both of us are aware of what our staff are doing and that we come to an agreement before we start the next phase of the work. That sounds perfect to me. Yes, I would agree to that. Okay, great. Um, I really love working with you guys and I think you have a lot of growth ahead of you and a lot of potential and we would love to continue working with you and getting you to the next phase of your business model. Thank you. I'm looking forward to that too. Thanks. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Bye.